Hey son, come over here and sit down. Uh, help me tell these people about this new video newsletter that we're going to put out. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, now this monthly newspaper, uh, newsletter, uh, newspaper, this monthly video newsletter that we're going to put out, uh, the primary purpose of it is to upgrade information that you didn't get on the DVDs and teach you about the tips and techniques that have changed since we've made the set of videos. Now you're watching this video probably because you bought our DVD set, How to Make $40,000 a Year or More Routing Wood Signs. So first of all, we want to say thank you. Thank you for uh, being a customer. Thank you for the business and let you know that we're committed to pass on to you uh, the latest, the newest, the best techniques that we come up with on a regular basis and we want to pass those on to you so that you can become as good a sign carver as you can possibly become. Now I founded this business back in 1970. That's uh, close to in the winter of 1970 and that's close to 40 years ago. And Eric was about 10 years old at the time and for nearly 40 years, this is about all he's ever done. And from the time I founded the business, I haven't had a job, I haven't worked for anybody else, and I tell people every once in a while when a, when a job comes up in a conversation, I tell people I haven't done a lick of work for 40 years. And the truth is, I put a lot of effort into building this business with along with Eric, but I've never had to answer to anybody else. I've never had to punch a time clock, and my, you know, every day I've done pretty much what I wanted to do. Now in that 40 years, we've literally taught hundreds of people to be sign carvers. Some of them we've taught hands-on. We've had them in our shop and worked with them one-on-one -on -one and taught them the techniques and the, the tricks and tips uh, that we use. Some of them we've taught hands-on actually in their location. Gone to where they are and, and taught them um, our, our techniques and stuff right there in their location. But many of them, like you, learn through our DVD set. And we want to let you know that, that not everybody does this, you know, full time, you know, all out. Uh, some people just carve a sign once in a while, maybe for a Christmas gift or, uh, or a wedding they've got to go to. Um, some of them actually make some for family and friends. They make a few more signs. But some of them actually do turn it into a business to where they're, they've got a thriving sign carving business and uh, sell them any number of different ways. So whatever you want to do with it is really up to you. All we can do is just give you the best of what we've got so that you can be the best you can be. And the reason, main reason that we're filming this monthly newsletter is that things have changed since we made the DVD set originally several years ago. And rather than make a new set uh, of DVDs, we felt that this monthly video newsletter will get you up to date on the sources that have changed uh, from some of the companies that have gone out of business that we used to buy from, some of the materials that we use, that we, it, we've learned that they're better, some of the router bits uh, have changed and we'll give you information on all of those uh, in subsequent monthly newsletters so that you can stay up to speed on what's going on and we don't have to make a whole new set of videos but just, uh, just a few minutes of video every month will give you new tips and techniques of what we're doing. Also, we want you to know that we're not teaching from theory. We're not teaching from what we think might work or what we theorize could possibly work. We're teaching from what does work. We have a, a retail sign shop location in Oakman, Arizona, not too far from where our, our main location is. And we're up there every week, sometimes three days a week, sometimes six, seven days a week, depending on uh, the season. Um, so we're constantly uh, carving signs right out there in public, um, handing, handing the customers the, the signs, getting that immediate feedback, and we're learning, and our signs are evolving all the time. Um, we hope that, uh, that you subscribe to our newsletter so that you can see for a fact, um, all of the new stuff as it comes out, we've got some really exciting stuff planned in the coming months. As a matter of fact, next month, we're actually going to be filming from our retail location 
uh, in Oatman, Arizona. So that will be the February 09 edition. This is the January 09 edition. Um, so um, hang on because we got some great stuff coming for you. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Uh, that little town of Oatman is a little tourist town where the burrows, the wild burrows come in out of the hills and roam the streets and tourists get to feed them carrots and, and you'll really enjoy seeing that. Now, this month's video, the inaugural video, the primary purpose of that, the tip that you're going to learn this month, is on finishing. Now on the DVDs, I taught that uh, finish wasn't necessary on the sign, and the fact is it's still not necessary, but it used to be they would sell just as fast without a finish as they would with a finish. But in a retail operation like we have now, sometimes if that's, if that's how you plan to build your business, knowing how to put a finish on a sign will be a valuable addition to the information, and I didn't teach that on the DVDs. So we'll teach you what to use, how to use it, how to get the sign ready for it, and how to actually put a finish on a sign. So, with that said, um, let's go out into the shop, show you exactly how we do it, um, and give you all of the, all the information we have. It's very simple stuff, but uh, I think it'll be very useful for you, and it'll, uh, it'll help you sell.